All right, hello, and welcome to our podcast on the suspension of disbelief. This is kind of a crazy term that we use in our film class that actually means something relatively simple. So we want to break this down a little bit into some of its roots and word parts and then put it all together and see what this means for our study of film. So first off, we have the word belief. And as a definition, this is, the word belief is just something that we think or feel to be true or something that we think or feel could reasonably happen. We may not have evidence for it, but just something inside us allows us to believe it. You know, we take it on faith, something like that. So the word is belief, something we think or feel could reasonably happen. If we then add the prefix of dis before it, dis means away or not or from. Therefore, we've created the word disbelief. And so that prefix of dis, meaning away or from, comes in the forms of things like disapprove, dismount, disengage, or dissolve. All of those prefixes mean that something is going away from whatever it is attached to. And so now we, instead of creating the word that is something we could think or feel could happen, we have created the word of disbelief, which means that we do not think or feel it could happen. So now on to the other word, suspension. As a noun, the suspension is the stuff in your car that helps you from when you're hitting a bump, the car jostling all over the place. It absorbs the shocks. We also have suspension bridges. These suspension bridges actually hang and hold on to the roadway from above. It hangs underneath those large towers and cables. But we're going to go ahead and look at this from the verb form, which is to suspend. Most likely, many people think of the students who are suspended from school. They have been asked not to return to school for some amount of time. They are put on hold. They are hanging away from school. So suspend as a verb means to take away, to put on hold, or to stop. So if we put these together, the suspension of disbelief becomes the idea that films ask us to put on hold our disbelief that something couldn't happen. And so to put it the other way, films ask us to believe that a lot of crazy stuff could happen. For example, logically, it's probably not possible for a police car to be launched off a building, fly through the air, timed perfectly, and then collide midair with a helicopter and take it out. Logically, we're not going to think that that's going to happen. Could it happen? It's always possible, but it's very, very unlikely. But as soon as we step into a movie, that's the opening scene of half the action movies we've ever seen. We are asked to put our skepticism and our disbelief on hold. But the opposite is we are asked to believe that this kind of crazy stuff could happen. Movies do suck us into another world, and they ask us pretty quickly to suspend disbelief. They ask us to believe that a police car could be used as a flying weapon. They ask us to believe that the Joker could survive falling 18 stories from a building and be okay. They ask us to believe that people could fall in love after one sighting of each other. And so this suspension of disbelief pushes us as moviegoers to quickly say, Oh yeah, totally. That could happen. That helicopter could get attached to a train and then go into a tunnel and be okay for a good couple miles under that tunnel. Absolutely. Totally. That person could jump from a burning building 30 stories and land on a trampoline. Absolutely. If we were to apply this to the real world, we would not think it's possible. Because it's really not. But as soon as we step into movies, and the parallel is, as we step into certain genres of literature, we are asked to suspend disbelief. And the other way of saying it is we are asked to believe that a lot of this stuff could happen. One last thing to mention is that the idea of suspension of disbelief is genre-specific. So if we're watching action-adventure movies, we believe that, yeah, everybody will survive everything. Jack Sparrow can launch himself up a mast pole by firing a cannon in the opposite direction, and then he can take that and swing across the ocean onto his own ship. Yes, John McClane in the Die Hard movies can survive every single thing that people are shooting at him. We believe that that could happen. 
We may not believe it, but we at least suspend disbelief. In science fiction, time and space can be changed. Another one is think about drama or romantic comedies. The fact that in these movies people fall in love so quickly, we tend to accept that. We say, okay, great, these people have met each other, they've gone on one date, and all of a sudden they are true soulmates. Although we know that that can't really, it probably doesn't happen, well, maybe it might happen in reality, we accept it more readily in film. Because, truly, we're under a time crunch, we gotta get this movie going, we gotta finish this up in two hours, and so we are asked as audience members to suspend our disbelief and allow the movie to happen. And, for the most part, we do. I don't know too many people who walk out of action adventures movies after the first opening scene and go, you know what, that just can't happen, therefore I want my money back. No, no, no. We accept it, we know it's the genre, we know it's a movie, we watch it, we continue the whole movie. So in sum, the suspension of disbelief is when we put on hold our natural, logical disbelief that things could happen, and we allow them to move forward with the movie. And so... Saying it the other way, we tend to believe more things in movies than we would in life. Again, which allows us to absorb ourselves into the movie, into the plot, into the characters, and ultimately, hopefully, deduce the theme of this text. Even when they are creating completely outlandish action situations, ideally there is some sort of life lesson that can be taken from this text. And our suspension of disbelief allows us into that world. I think that's about it. It's a pretty short one today. As always, if you have any questions, please bring those into class. We'll get those answered for you, and we will move from there. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.